If you think that you've got to spend thousands of dollars to fly to Australia and pet a wallaby, well, you are wrong because there is one at the Wildlife World Zoo. Christy Morcom is here and she has brought Sheila. Thank you so much for letting me hold this little baby. You are so welcome and you're so correct. So we have lots of marsupials at Wildlife World. We have this fabulous kangaroo walkabout, which is so much fun. It's one of my favorite areas because you literally you walk out with the kangaroos and there's nothing separating you from the kangaroos except a rope and half the time they're jumping the rope <laughs> and you're, you're right next to a kangaroo and they're actually really friendly how old is Sheila tell us a little bit about her background yeah so Sheila is actually over a year old which surprises a lot of people because she's so tiny mm -hmm. now these agile wallabies get about two feet tall anyway so they're a smaller species and She's just very small. She's comfortable being in the pouch still, yeah. so that's how she likes to travel and be introduced into new areas. But wallabies are the size of a jelly bean when they're born. That is I know. insane. And then they stay in their mama's pouch. They do, so they're born after just a 30 day gestation period. And what the mom will do is she'll lick a little trail into her pouch so the little jelly bean sized joey can follow the scent, crawl into the pouch, and that's where they're gonna do the majority of their developing. Because you can imagine after just 30 days, they're very underdeveloped. Mm -hmm. They look like the little pinky mice. Yeah, and I did actually see a couple of them when I was in Australia, but that's crazy. It's only 30 days. Yeah, and that's amazing. I've always wanted to go to Australia. Yeah, well, you don't so have jealous. to, trust me. <laughs> Save a penny or two. Um, what is the difference between a wallaby and a kangaroo? So kangaroos are a lot larger. Wallabies are essentially little miniature kangaroos. Okay. And uh, they're going to hop the same. So this agile wallaby, is uh, known for being very agile. As adults, they can leap in 30 foot strides. Really? Yes. That's a lot. That is a lot. And they can get going up to 30 miles per hour and they're gonna use their tail for balance. And they can actually go months without water? They can. How does that work? They're uh, very well adapted for life in very warm environments. They're going to be found in northern Australia. And if there is water available, they're very smart because they're typically not going to go up to the water line and drink from the edge of the water where they're susceptible to predators mm -hmm. like crocodiles. They will go up near a water line and use those really sharp claws, which I'm sure yeah. you're experiencing <laughs> right now. And scraped a couple of times, but it's okay. <laughs> right. And they're going to dig up the water. So they'll dig down to the water and uh, they'll also use their claws to dig up roots and they're typically grazers so they like roots and grass and things like that. Very cool. So you guys are open 365 days a year which means you can take the family out for Christmas. You can so being open every single day we're open oh. Christmas Day, we're open New Year's Day and a lot of places are closed and it's such a great place to bring the family and make those fabulous holiday memories. Awesome Christy thank you so much. Sheila you were great. Uh, she's got a full belly now. Thank you <laughs> Thank again. You.